Oh man, it's cold out there. It's a freaking blizzard. Jeez. Whew. We're gonna get this set up, get our cameras rolling, and do addition to couch corner. Hey bartender, can you get me a drink? Everybody's going around like billiard balls, trying to get uh, up and down the hills. This uh, take couch corners, and today we're going to be talking about uh, ethanol, gas, and water, and the myths about heat. Truths and myths about heat and ethanol and gas. Right after this. And we begin tonight with the deadly winter storms. It's a deep freeze still for so much of the country. A deadly winter storm is blasting snow and ice. A blast of winter weather buried parts of the Midwest and Northeast today. Technology, automotive, and gaming. Pretty watch. Look at Derry too. Whoa. Take your in. Winter storm Jaden is now being felt across the Midwest. Over a thousand flights have been canceled, schools and businesses remain closed, and warming centers are set in preparation for the storm. So what bothers me about well, ethanol and heat is after this last snowstorm, everyone was buying uh, heat and uh, they were all sold out. Hmm? But when heat is basically ethanol, yes. so what, what it does is it keeps the water from freezing. However, at the same time, when the water is in your fuel tank mixed with ethanol, it separates. Mm -hmm. But the water will separate to the bottom. Because the ethanol will bind to the water. But the ethanol will also um, make it so that the temperature has to even go colder before the water will freeze because when you mix up alcohol with water, you are now going to have to lower the temperature before you form ice. Right. If you get ethanol based fuels, which uh, the majority of them at the gas stations do contain no less than. It's actually really hard to get ethanol free gas. Yes, it is. I mean, 91 mm -hmm. is about the only one that mm -hmm. you can get. Which is nothing that bothers me, is everyone buys this premium. Mm -hmm. But they never look at 93 or 91. 93 has ethanol in it. And if you get it, just depending on where the terminal came from, if you get uh, ethanol from the Flint Hills, which is by the Koch brothers, right? Mm -hmm. They're owned by the Koch brothers. Mm -hmm. They put unleaded mixed with a little bit of premium. And along with the uh, ethanol. And the ethanol, again, right. is more than 10%. No, well, it's 10%. Oh, but, well, 10% or more. Or more. Right. Yeah. You already have basically heat added to your fuel because they put the ethanol in there. So they're already making it so that any water you might have in your tank won't freeze unless you get to an extremely cold temperature. Ethanol will combine with gasoline, but then if you add water to it, it separates, it, separates it. yes. Which so. is another problem if people have water in their underground tanks at the gas stations, then that creates a problem where the water will get into your gas tank along with more ethanol will get into the gas tank at the, mm -hmm. the bottom. But the bottom line is, is if you're buying fuel that contains ethanol, you most likely, for the overwhelming areas in the United States, you won't have to add more ethanol or alcohol type. Because that's all you're doing when you dump heat in there is adding right. more ethanol to your tank. Right. Now, if you run 91 straight, fine. If you if you think you have to add some ethanol to keep the mm -hmm. The uh, car running, but that at 91 is for recreational vehicles, your snowblower, your lawnmower, your your airplanes. Yep. They airplanes. gotta have mm -hmm. they gotta have ethanol free fuel. Mm -hmm. um, your snowmobiles, motorcycles, you know, all those recreational vehicles is what you're gonna want to spend the 91 on, and uh, maybe sports cars. Mm -hmm. Maybe some sports cars. Mm -hmm. You want to keep it ethanol free because ethanol will dry out your seals. So you don't want to be putting 
87 with FNR, 8 mid grade with FNL in tier lawnmower because that lawnmower is just going to sit all winter long and the cold weather mixed with the ethanol will dry out your seals, make it so your carburetor or the ejector or whatever else in the lawnmower is just not going to run as smoothly come next summer. Right. And then you have to replace the seals. So definitely on a brand new lawnmower, even a used one, use 91 premium ethanol free um, seal. Yeah, and it, it would be better to use, uh, including for your boats, boats too, boat yeah. engines, you should use ethanol free fuel. Once again, though, some people might use their boats uh, in colder temperatures. And if you're going to start doing that, you know, because the lakes don't freeze over, the water stays in the 50s <laughs> for a long time. Even though it's below 30, the water stays in the 50s for a very long time and there are people going out so you may want to put some ethanol added into your fuel right to separate the water out so that you don't end up freezing a line and getting stuck out in the middle of nowhere nowhere <laughs> like lake michigan in the middle of nowhere you right. better yeah you better uh add some heat for that because you're burning ethanol for your fuel but but for cars most people burn ethanol based fuel. Running into any business and buying an ethanol heat bottle. <laughs> but I can't believe it was sold out. <laughs> I went into a store, because I drive so. a truck, I went into a store trying to buy some uh, diesel, because diesel is different. You actually do need to buy, add additives to diesel to prevent the diesel from gelling up. And bio, you don't want to get me into that, but bio is the easiest. That stuff will gel and get cold as mm -hmm. heck. So I was trying to buy some 911 or some hollow fuel, and uh, the whole shelf, a lady comes up and goes, what are you looking for? Are you looking for some heat? And I'm like, heat? I don't need heat. <laughs> My car already has heat. <laughs> That's right. That's right. And most you want to do is top your tank off in cold situations, just to kind of get all that moisture out. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's the best you can do to in those colder situations. Ethanol came about around, what was it? I don't know how many years ago, but around corn. Corn is this big craze, you know, that's why corn got into our food, corn got into, it was just like farmers, they just went to the state and everyone went farmers just to completely um, grow corn, just because it was the cheapest thing to do to throw in your foods and throw in your gas tank. Well, it was in 2000, I believe 2007, that they started uh, subsidizing to produce um, ethanol from corn to add into fuel and all that did is uh, raise our food prices and I believe in Mexico uh, the cost of uh, their food went up because they bought corn from the United States their costs went up over 400 percent so they just went ahead and started burning rainforests and you defeated the whole purpose of the ethanol right which was to reduce the carbon emissions well when you burn rainforests now you're producing more carbon into the atmosphere than the whole entire year's worth of burning from cars. So uh, they did that to clear and plant crops and everything for uh, growing their food because they couldn't no, no longer afford buying the food from the United States, the corn. So start growing food the other way there. So the whole Subsidizing corn to make fuel to burn in our cars was a total fiasco. I mean, yes, we try to sit there and find other alternative fuels, like wind and solar are, are actually proving themselves very well now. Yeah, so wind well. is it's wind and difficult, solar, but it's, it's improving. Right, well, it's actually becoming uh, cheaper than having a coal burning plant to make electricity. So by doing wind energy and solar energy, that, that's a viable way to go, but subsidizing corn to turn into fuel to burn for, for vehicles is not logical. I mean, it's, it's, there's too many pitfalls to it. I guess what started all this is the whole thing about uh, heat, and ethanol. heat and ethanol. And gasoline and, and your uh, premium. And bottom line is, is uh, as long as you don't have a gas station that's intentionally watering down <laughs> their gas, <laughs> um, which there have been some that have been caught uh, watering their gas, uh, 
you shouldn't have to put heat in your tank, tank. unless you're burn, burning the ethanol free. Ethanol but free do you water. realize that ethanol and water combine and separate from the gas? Right. So by pouring heat, if there is water in the tank, the only thing you're doing is help keeping that water from freezing. Exactly. You're not helping it, and that's if the car doesn't have ethanol in the end. You're not keeping it from um, separating. Right. So when you start your car, since that stick sticks down in there, if you had raw premium gas, 91, and you dumped heat in there and separate it, you're now going to be sucking water and ethanol through that tube. Mm -hmm. But at least it's not freezing. At least it's not freezing. But your car might start hard. So to wrap things up, don't be a fool and get ripped off by buying heat if you're already buying E85 or 87 with 10% ethanol or 93 with 10% ethanol. If your fuel contains ethanol that you're purchasing, don't buy heat. You don't need it. And as far as for your recreational vehicles, please, please, please hunt out a place that's ethanol free glass, gas. It doesn't have to be 91. I know Fleet Farm that sells mid grade and 91 ethanol free. Um, mm -hmm. And Quick Trips up here up north, they sell 91 ethanol free. And um, there are a few places scattered around that will say, sell you raw, real, unleaded fuel without ethanol. It's far and scarce in between, but you can find them. I digress. No ethanol. If you have ethanol, no heat. Premium, 91. All your recreational vehicles. I think that will wrap things up for today. I'm Tristan, this is my father, Don, and this was Tay, Couch Corner Edition, and Tay, Tay you're, you're it. it. Oh man, it's cold out there. Jesus, it's been a long day at work. We gotta set these cameras up, get my, uh, take off my gloves here, get my father to get over here, sit down, do an episode of Couch Corner. Hey, bartender, make me a couple of stiff drinks. Okay, I will give you a hot cup. Yeah, yeah, whatever, you know. Oh, I gotta get ready. We'll be back. And we'll get this done. So. Don't go anywhere. See you in the couch.